Hello there, and welcome to the FoxDog Selfie Cam. Um, we obviously spend a lot of time here at FoxDog talking about how good our tenants are and how good our properties are and how little trouble we tend to have um, when when managing those properties and those tenancies. Obviously, as with any business, as with any rental business, when you start to scale that, you're taking on more and more properties and more and more tenants. From time to time, you'd expect it to go a little bit wrong. Um, so we're dealing with a minor issue at the minute to do with recovery of deposit. The chap has left the property, he was an otherwise decent guy, he paid all his rent, the place was generally clean, but several items of furniture were, were, were damaged through, through neglect more than anything, I think not really malicious. The problem is he's refusing to communicate with us on the matter now, uh, he won't answer any text messages or voicemails or, or emails or anything like this. So the only route left open to us is to go direct to the Deposit Protection Service, DPS, which is the organisation we use to, to, to lodge our uh, deposits with and start a statutory process for recovering uh, that deposit without his input. Um, so I thought it might be useful just to explain to people who have not had to do this what you need to do. And the very first thing you need to do is to um, obviously try to release a deposit and state what, what you need, what you want, and you need to leave after at least 14 days um, before you start the statutory process. There needs to be that gap to give the tenant or, or former tenant the chance to reply. And assuming they don't get back to you, as, as is the case that we're, that we're dealing with now, you need to request the uh, statutory declaration form, which needs to be posted out to you, but it's not downloadable or, or available online or anything like this. It comes pre-populated with, with a date, the date that you've requested it, and with the deposit ID that the, the um, claim actually relates to. It's a fairly simple form that you just need to fill in. And it also, if you read it, it requests certain amounts of evidence. And I think as with everything, probably the more evidence you can provide, the better. So we've included um, quite a lengthy document that we've prepared. I think probably with a lot of agents, they would have passed this over to the landlord now for the landlord to deal with, or, or probably charge an additional fee in order to recover the deposit. We don't. We figure that you've got to take the rough with this move. And from time to time, if things go a bit wrong, then that's for us to deal with. We've written quite a lengthy letter. We obviously knew the property better than the landlord probably as well. Uh, we knew the tenant certainly better than the landlord. It was the, the relationship was with us, not with the landlord. So we've also prepared a small video which we've posted on YouTube and we've put a private link on there so the DPS can um, hopefully watch that and to get an idea to, as to how well we managed the property, how what a good house it was and to give them a feeling for us. Um, maybe even connect with us a little bit and hopefully side with us. We also went round to, uh, we tracked a former tenant down who, who had been at the property and left shortly after this chap left also in order to get a witness statement. And of course, I don't want to show the name there. And of course, the witness statement um, further backs her up. This was a shared house. This was somebody who was sharing the house with the chap. Um, so, so, so it corroborates what we were saying and the condition of the room when we, when we walked in and checked it. We, we've put a copy of the inventory in with a little covering letter there and we've highlighted, we've made it easy for them, we've highlighted the signatures of the offending tenant or tenants as it was in this case and um, we've identified the room for them and included photographs as well to give them an idea of what the property was like at the point when the tenancy started. The final stage here in it now is we, I'm off to see a solicitor this morning who will just witness me signing these documents before we package them up and send them off to the DPS. And I'd expect that um, all of the requested funds will be with the landlord in the not too distant future. So there's another fox dog learning experience for you. I hope it's of use. If you need any help uh, doing your own um, deposit claims, feel free to give us a call on Warrantor 01925 699 030 or alternatively you can contact us at contact at fdp1.co.uk. That's foxtrotdeltapapa1.co.uk. Good luck. Bye-bye.